Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to Wingate Solutions. I hope you're doing well. With our website officially live now, I figured I would do a showcase on a few of our products, a few different videos. This one is going to be our Freedom Sling. Stay tuned. All right, the Wingate Solutions Freedom Sling. In short, it's a minimalist, two-point, quick-adjust rifle sling. It's made out of good components, made here in PA by my wife and myself. It's very simple. Won't break the bank. You'll do everything you need. Nothing you won't. So it has a nice pull tab so I can pull this down into an administrative position and I have this thing real tight to my body. I can also pull that and get a whole ton of adjustment out of it. And now I can do the things, manipulate this rifle without the sling getting in the way. It's lightweight, so it's less likely to get in the way of my kit and things I'm doing. It slides really well being made out of 55301 nylon webbing. Super strong, but still lightweight and flexible. And uh, it's just a simple kit that works. All right, setting up a sling as far as installing it on your rifle. Now, the industry standard is to go with something like these QDs. And I'll have those available on the website as well. So my recommendation is these D-ring style. They work the best with the one-inch webbing. They're going to be the standard across the industry way to mount a sling. So you put one of these on each end, right? You'd have to have the female sling mounts to use these. But they're going to work really well. It's going to allow you to QD the sling from the rifle if needed. You also could, if you're on a budget or minimalist like me, just run paracord, right? So it's going to be very strong, it's going to be quiet, and it's going to cost next to nothing. Now, as much as I'd like to sell you all my products and make a ton of money off you, I also don't want to sell people things that they might not necessarily want or need. So I recommend something simple like this. So the paracord is awesome, minimalist, cheap, costs almost nothing. As long as you're keeping an eye on it to make sure it's not getting frayed or melted, you're good. Um, and it doesn't happen too quickly. So you should be fine unless it's literally like touching your gas block. Now let's talk rear mounting. If you want to use QDs, awesome. If you want to use any type of other hook, great. Tons of ways to mount slings. I like to just mount mine directly to the stock if the stock offers this style of sling mount can see that now on my sling the rear is going to come with two tri-glides this one here is doing nothing but managing that excess tail of the sling webbing so you can see i have it slung through and then refolded through again just to really tidy it up so that first one is where the adjustment's going to be the rest of it's just that extra tail on the front same way i'm going to mount Whatever form of hardware, whether it's paracord or a QD, just like that. I don't want to use up too much webbing on the front because the more webbing you use up on the front, the less room you're going to have for your actual adjustment range. That makes sense. So all of your adjustment comes from the front half of the sling. As far as your length on the fly, your adjustment for setting the sling up to your body, that's going to be done on the rear of the sling. I hope that helps. All right. Color options for the Freedom Sling. Black with a Ranger green pull tab and all black hardware. Coyote. Same one on my rifle right now. So it's Coyote, Coyote hardware, green pull tab. I have two versions of Ranger green. One's going to have Coyote hardware, Coyote pull tab. One's going to have black hardware, black pull tab and right now we have multicam as one of our patterns so something to note with the multicam if you're multicam if you see it on the website i kind of explain it this is made out of jacquard webbing now it's still a 55301 spec webbing mil spec webbing this stuff is awesome there's kind of two versions of multicam that the industry uses and it's the printed nylon versus this being the woven nylon they're both great. I'm probably going to offer the print, printed multicam in the future as well. I like this woven nylon. This stuff has a really cool print to it. The uh, only thing with this to know is it's going to be stiff out of the bag. You're going to have to break it in. So it's not going to slide as freely 
I don't want you to be disappointed in the product. So just know that going in. Now, you can throw this in the wash with your laundry. That will speed up the break-in process and it will smooth out to be pretty much as simple and soft as these other ones. So this is a really nice camouflage. It works really well once it's broken in. So just understand that. All right, that's going to conclude the video on the Freedom Sling. I appreciate you guys watching. If you enjoyed this content or have any feedback or questions, please put them down below in the comments. Please consider subscribing, giving us that thumbs up. It helps. And go over to www.wingatesolutionsllc.com. I'll put the link in the description. Again, appreciate any feedback. Reach out to us with any questions. I want to make sure you guys know what you're getting with our kit. I want to make sure you're happy with it. I want you to be satisfied with what you're getting from us. Anyway, till next time, get out and train.